from that one, a quick point to touch upon this because I thought this was really interesting. Um, I recently kind of stumbled across a page on Instagram because I don't really browse my Instagram too much because I'm usually on Twitter mostly. That's mostly my um, main source of social media kind of content that I'm kind of consuming. And I don't really tend to check people's stories and stuff on Instagram. So I don't really know what people are up to. But one day I did. And I stumbled across a loosely associated friend, colleague, you know, hangout scene person who had eventually got married, right? Really nice wedding. It looks amazing. Everything looked great. But I did remember at the time when I was checking it, like I had these weird feelings because I remember thinking, rah, it's interesting that I haven't seen these people in a long time. I don't speak to them like that anymore. I don't really know nothing about them. I don't even know the name of this guy's wife or his girlfriend or fiance at the time. I didn't even know he was getting married at the time. But yeah, I still feel like I should have been invited. And it was a really strange kind of feeling to kind of process that kind of, you know, um, feeling like you've been left out. But then also knowing that even if you did get invited, you would have never gone. Because that's the whole reason why I didn't get invited. Because over a long period of time of us being kind of seen friends, I never really once made the effort to kind of take the relationship to the next level. I never cultivated a relationship. Maybe it was never on anyway. That's the one thing also I have to count. I can't always, always say I'm the most amazing person to hang out with. Maybe it was never on the cards, but I never tried to pursue it. So I can't be surprised when somebody says, you know what, I'm not going to invite you because we're not that close really. So I, don't, I didn't really take it too personally, but I still felt like I should have been invited. It's a very, very strange feeling to kind of process in your head. Anyway, one thing that I did realize actually was that, and I think this is a message I need to kind of put out there to all my maybe younger listeners out there. If you're like me, like in terms of personality wise, you're like a bit of a loner. You don't like having groups of friends around you. You don't really like hanging out with people like that. Um, you see friendships as maybe like uh, something that might hold you back from trying to achieve your dream, which is awful to say that, but maybe that's how I've always been in terms of very selfish with my time and what I do and stuff. And you find it hard to compromise, find it hard to fucking meet people in the middle, whatever it may be, right? If you've got that kind of personality that I have, then I think you have to accept that in life, the older you get, you're going to reach these milestones where you're going to have a clear representation, identification, example as to what damage that kind of outlook and approach to life can do. And I think the years that I've spent being the loner, being the lone wolf, doing things on my own, not needing a crew, not needing a click, being very independent, I think in my head, that's what I was doing. But I'm sure in other people's heads, it looked like I came across arrogant, I came across like I knew everything, I came across like I had a big ego, I came across whatever, right? And because of that, it can maybe set people off the wrong way. It can maybe make them feel a bit aggrieved. So I can understand where they're coming from in that regard. So you have to accept if you are going to be that person that's a, like I would like to describe myself as an extrovert introvert, that you have to accept that sometime along the line of your life, some people that you count as friends will not include you in things like weddings like invited to funerals like invited to baby showers because you're not really a part of their life like that anymore you know you know what i mean like it just moves on and you have to kind of be okay with it because you've decided from that early age like i did that you're not going to be the friend guy you're going to just be on your own you're going to see them when you see them and that's it and i have to kind of eat that and accept that um and i think it's perfectly okay to maybe feel a little bit aggrieved that you should be invited i think everyone has that sort of feeling but it's just an interesting feeling to have like because it kind of feels a little bit entitled also it kind of feels a little bit selfish right like you don't want to do what friends do to cultivate and keep relationships but then you also want what friends get like the rewards of being a friend of somebody is you get invited to stuff right you get considered for things um you get included in things um and you know clearly i've never done that over my life so i shouldn't be surprised when people decide hey let's put that guy over there we don't want him in our crew it's okay um which is perfectly fine again like i said because this group of people you know as much as it was cool to hang out with them when we were all younger it was never really going to go any further than that, innit? Because, you know, some of them, you know, not, wasn't really fond of anywhere to begin with. It was always a bit odd, a little bit, you know, twitchy and stuff in terms of communication. Um, so that was never going to kind of go anywhere in, in time soon. And I'm not really somebody to kind of, you know, even try and act like I'm bothered or speak about things that bother me. So I'd just rather just not talk to you. So I guess that kind of doesn't help in terms of, you know, resolving issues. So maybe some things were lingering and then when you're not talking to somebody, they make their own mind up about what you're not talking to them. And then suddenly 
time happens, you know, loss of communication. And then in that, in that in between time, people just make up their own narrative about why they're not talking to you where they are. And it's just, you know, it becomes what it is. So you have to be okay with it. But I've, I think I've decided quite, you know, a few years ago, I think I came to realization that every action that I do for the most part when it comes to communicate with people is always going to have a reaction or a consequence and I'm okay to live with it like long term always okay with it so even if it's like a late night DM or like some comment that I make or like a joke that I send out I'm always okay with it and you have to be perfectly okay with that in your head so the next time you reject somebody's invite to go to their birthday party you don't want to pull up to go to some festival you don't want to go to some concert some dinner just know it's going to have some um, ramifying effects down the line somewhere um, and it's going to manifest maybe in you checking the Instagram and finding out that one of your loosely associated friends got married and you had absolutely no idea <laughs> but um, it's perfectly fine for me I don't really mind it because like I said you know I know what I need to do to change it and I'm not willing to do so because I just don't give a fuck like that I never have maybe there's some past trauma there associated with it I'm not really too sure um, I always mention that story of when I was 12 and that boy Thomas essentially didn't want to be my friend anymore he was my friend for a while and then some new kid you know moved into the area who was my neighbor and then suddenly Thomas you know went to be the friend of that other kid and not me I was like oh shit and then suddenly you know I went to try and meet them and every time I went to meet them they weren't where they're meant to be and then one day I bumped into them where they were and they basically said down categorically hey we don't want to be your friend anymore and it's like oh and that and that hurts more than anything that hurts more than relationship breakups i don't give a fuck that hurts more than some girl turning you down like that hurts way more than somebody saying hey i don't want to be your friend anymore it's even worse when they were your friend they were cool with you you had your ha ha he he's and then they said you know what from now on don't talk to me that hurts <laughs> so i think maybe there's some past registry with that going on there i'm not really too sure but either way um i'm okay with it it is what it is i'm not going to change it now and you have to just be okay with the fact that you know all the decisions that i made all those years ago are now starting to manifest in these sort of ways so if i bump into these guys and stuff irl you know it's going to be as awkward as it always has been you know because you know i, I just can't fake the funk i'm not someone that's going to be like hi wow i mean but you know it kind of is what it is we've kind of all gone through our lives now doing what we're doing what can you do it is what it is but um yeah if you're young and you're out there and you're a loner like me just be very aware be very careful about what you wish for because sometime along the line you may decide you want to change and not be like me and you want to have friends so you need to make sure that you turn up and show up for your friends when you when they need you the most when you're younger for that innocuous stuff like going to the shop to return something hanging out wasting time meeting them there dropping them off here all those things are really important in terms of establishing and maintaining a friendship and being there for somebody because if you're not eventually they're gonna know they can't count on you but you know what do i know when it comes to that sort of stuff because i have no friends what do i know